guys uh, in this video tutorial we'll talk about gradle repositories as you know that no project uh, is self-contained right so project has a dependency on uh, so uh, many external libraries or jars right and those jars uh, may be downloaded remotely or locally or some uh, basically custom uh, you can have a, some custom repository from there you can uh, instruct the gradle to download uh, those uh, dependency and add in the, your class path right so here uh, we are going to discuss in how many ways a uh, gradle basically uh, specify the repository right so before starting uh, let's uh, try to understand the, some key point uh, sometimes dependencies come in the form of library or charts right we have to specify the location of uh, library or models uh, so that the build can consume them right the location of the storing uh, libraries or models is called a repository by specifying the repository for a project gradle can find and retrieve models or jars or libraries right a repository can be in different forms such as a local directory or a remote repository at runtime gradle will discover the uh, declared dependencies required for uh, operating a specific task once a dependency is resolved the resolution mechanism stores the essential files of dependency in the local cache memory also uh, called as the dependency cache right uh, future uh, builds reuse the uh, files saved in the cache to skip unnecessary uh, unnecessary network calls in basically in, especially in the gradle right now uh, here in gradle support the following repository first iv repository then maven then flat directory repository so let's uh, try to understand how uh, in build.gradle we can specify uh, these three uh, repository yeah so first of all we'll uh, talk about uh, as, as we have seen in, in the slide previous slide uh, gradle also supports maven uh, repository right so in your build file uh, you can specify the remote repository to look for the dependencies uh, gradle supports maven and iv repository to search for dependency right as far as uh, maven or repository concern in gradle project then you can specify in various ways here you can see first way you can work inside the repository within the uh, build.gradle you can write something is called maven central or explicitly you can specify a uh, maven repository inside the repository section you have to write the maven and then you explicitly you can specify the maven uh, central repository you are yeah? any of the one approach you can apply yeah now uh, apart from the apart from that uh, also uh, you can apply uh, you can you can specify a maven repository to, uh, for a bin ray right and that's the way here just inside the rep repository you can specify a url of bitray right and that is nothing but a j center which is basically support by the uh, gradle as well yeah now let's move now how we can specify as you know iv is also a build uh, automation tool right uh, which is provided by the apache if you want to use iv uh, repository uh, within the gradle that also you can do that so inside the repositories just you have to write the uh, iv tag and inside that you can specify your uh, basically iv repository url if your uh, iv repository url is belongs to the your company then you need to specify one more tag is called credential and there you have to specify the username and password and then only maven is uh, uh, try maven, maven will uh, sorry no maven not but gradle will try to download all the uh, basically dependency from that repository yeah uh, now as we discuss uh, maven also uh, uh, also uh, here uh, in this slide we, we, are, we are going to discuss uh, if you want to uh, basically declare uh, more than one repository right uh, at single place right at once then how we can do that so here you can see in repository sections rather than space we can we can if we have our project depends on the multiple uh, repositories then like maven repository just inside you have to write the maven and you have to specify the central repository url of maven 
and similarly you can specify the j center and iv as well right so this is the way to specify uh, basically more than one repository uh, uh, central uh, repository within the repository in gradle yeah now uh, if you want if you want to specify your flat directory repository means uh, let's say you have some custom jar right which is going to generate by some other project right that may not be available on the iv or uh, central repository whatever central repository you, you, you are using then in that case what you can do you can uh, specify like uh, uh, in repository sections you can specify a tag flat directory and here you can just specify the uh, directory name so it is assuming that directory name is leave which belongs to your project uh, root directory right so here you can specify the relative path of uh, uh, your uh, basically uh, 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 flat directory right uh, if you want to specify a uh, more than one uh, flat uh, flat directory then also there is a provision just you have to write dirs directories and uh, multiple directory you can write with comma separated yeah so guys that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we have learned how many ways we can specify repositories in gradle project within the uh, build out uh, gradle uh, file yeah so that's all i have in this video tutorial if you have any doubt then please let me know in the video description section i will uh, happy to reply you and thank you so much for watching this video